Hey guys, so I know this setup's kind of crappy, but anyways, I just got out of the shower. It's like probably 2.30 here, drinking some coffee. And I've got to go check my mail. And today is the first day that I've worn shorts. Like, I mean, I wear like night clothes shorts, sleeping at night, but like to get out in, today's like the first day I've worn them. So it's, which it's kind of warm, but like the other day it was cold, so. But I need to work on my tan. I don't have a tan at all. I'm just white. I'm so odd. So, I figured I would vlog a little bit. Y'all like these get ready with me videos and I don't know if I'm going to put on any makeup today. I might put on some foundation and mascara, but that's about it because this girl is looking a hot mess. Just saying. Can't even... So, I know this setup is wonky, um, but y'all like get ready with me videos, and I haven't done one in a while. Just got out of the shower, put my clothes on, I'm drinking some coffee. Um, I've just kind of been hanging out at the house, and I watched some Today Show, and um, the local news, and some Ellen. I sweat up a little bit, and I wash dishes. I read a little bit and now I'm here and it's like 2.30 and I have got to check my mail. I should have done it earlier, but my mail don't run like until late here. I'm using this cool Amazon rain. This stuff smells so good. It is Keynotes Amazon rain, Brazilian star fruit, something. I don't know what that word is. It's some crazy word right there. Um, exotic mandarin and dewy bamboo. This stuff smells like you're on the freaking beach. Like, it's awesome. But anyways, kind of, <clears throat> I slept in to about 8.30 and got back kind of late last night. And so I did get to sleep in. Normally I'll get up at super early, but I got to sleep in today. Um, I hope everybody had a good Easter. Put a little lotion on. I know a lot of y'all said y'all like these get ready with me uh, videos, but I don't think I'm gonna put on a whole lot of makeup today because I'm just not feeling it. I'll probably put on some foundation and Today's just one of those days that this girl ain't feeling it. So, on the good note, I have, um, hang on a second, guys. I'm going to see where I can hold y'all. So, I think that's as good as it's going to get. But anyways, um, on the better note, um, I get to do those injections, um, Let's see, today's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, three more days. So I've got to call them today too and see the time. I know they typically call like a day before, but I need to know. Um, haven't had to take any ibuprofen today or Tylenol. However, it's about time for me too because my back's starting to hurt again and my leg's going all freaking weird. Um, this has just been a, a long haul and go with this. I mean, I know I'll talk about it all the time, but who would have, like, who would have ever thought that your back can cause so much freaking crap? It's horrible. I'm just, I'm so ready to go back to work. Y'all don't, y'all don't even know. Like, I'm so ready. I'm over it. I'm so over it. So, I miss my kids when they're gone. I 
this lady down below me, my neighbor, I had my door open and I had my music on. She's like, hey, thanks for the music because she was laying out in the sun. She's a little bit older. And uh, she's like, thanks for the music. I said, you're welcome. I said, I hope you like it. She says, yeah, I like it. I was just wondering how I was going to get some music out here. And she was laying out in the sun in her bathing suit. I said, girl, I need to be doing that too. I said, you got any baby oil? She's like, no, not yet. As soon as she gets some money, she's going to get her some. But I told her I might lay out with her some this summer. Me and the girls and the boys go up there to that pool that they have up here. And I can get a lot of sun up there whenever we do that. I used to love laying out in the sun, y'all. It was so fun. So, I can't stand lotion whenever you put it on your hands and it's like on your hands. It like feels weird when you're trying to like get ready or whatever. So, I am just going to... <clears throat> the um, foundation that I wear like all the time, that I wear all the time and I get it back to back every time it goes out, is the CoverGirl Clean. And it's, this is the classic ivory and it looks like this. This is the, uh, it smells like um, Noxzema. It's like the best smell ever. I love it. But I used to wear this in high school and, you know, all of those fun times. It just brings, the smell brings back so many memories. It's crazy. So, this is just going to be one of those, um, fast things because I don't feel like putting on makeup today. It's just, I'm in one of those moods. Honestly, I don't feel good. I'm tired. And the reason being is because I took a half of one of those sleeping pills last night because I knew that I needed the rest. I didn't sleep good the night before. And I've only took a half. And the time before that I took one, a half of them, the next day it makes you feel so tired and draggy so I don't like them but I do sleep good when I take them so that's that it's like you win and you lose at the same time you know but I did sleep so I do feel better in that aspect so it's a pretty day outside today I've not been out per se, but I've had my door open and I was sitting outside on my deck thing. So it is pretty out. So that's that. So the eyeshadow that I'm gonna be wearing is this. And it's just gonna be these two colors here. I'll probably just put a little bit light on because like I said, I ain't feeling it today. None whatsoever. I'm just so ready to get those chapters closed and going in my life about my these injections for my back. I'm hoping and praying they work where I can just get on with my life and work. I need to get back to work. So bad. I need to get back to work. I need to get into school. I need to get my LPN license. I need to do a lot, guys. And I can and I will eventually. That's the thing in life. You can't give up. You gotta keep hope and keep faith in your life and just know that it may not be okay right now, but it's going to be okay. And sometimes you have to just keep telling yourself that even when you don't see it, you just got to keep believing it. Because in the Bible, the scripture on faith, it says faith is the evidence of things um, hoped for and the ev evidence and things not seen. So, you know, whenever we're going through difficult times and hard times and trials and stuff that's not going our way, guess what? We've got to hold on to faith. And believe me, I have, I'm, I'm, I've been down to the bottom of the bottom. But when you're down at the bottom of the bottom, guess where you got to go? Straight up. You, you, you got to go because you can't stay at the bottom, guys. You can't do it. 
and I won't do it. And I just don't like sitting. I don't like being at home by myself. I know a lot of people's like, well, that that's, you know, just relax. That's your time. But it gets old after a while. Like, it really does. It's like, it's just horrible. And I don't think it would be that bad if I didn't feel like if I felt good. But when you don't feel good and you want to get out and do something and go to work and take care of your patients and it's just crazy. But we got to keep the faith, guys. Got to keep the faith. So, okay, I'm going to use some of this today. I've had this for ages. This is the e.l.f. It don't even have a color on it anymore, but it's like a, it's like a mousse top foundation, or not foundation, but blush. And ever so often I'll wear it. And my dogs must be barking at that lady downstairs. I need a little highlight, y'all, just to get things glowing. Let me glow for you kids. How about that? I know some don't like highlight and glow, but guess what? This girl does. Everybody's different. Everybody likes doing their makeup different. Everybody's different. You should always be yourself. See that highlight? Woo! Get it, girls. Get that crap. So what I want to do, because I normally put my blush on or my highlight first and then blush over it, I'm going to go in here and... Uh, Um, add something else to this mess. I'm going to add this tart, and it is in Fosti. Just to kind of like lighten it up a little bit. Or darken it up a little bit. Said I wasn't gonna put on makeup and here I am putting on a load full of it. Oh well. Gives me something to do and talk to. So Sylvia organized Mama One. Girl, do you remember this palette? I I've been using this all weekend and it's like my all-time favorite. Every time I wear it, I think of you, so gotta make a trip soon to see my girl. Anyway, so now I'm just going to put on some um, Dad Lane. Some of this Osh or mascara. This is the Punk Volumizer mascara. It come from Ipsy, and this stuff's really good. However, I'm just about done with it. Um, but I've been using it, so I know y'all probably can't see, but. I think if you do eye makeup or makeup, I think the main focus for me per se would be mascara. I love mascara. It's, it's awesome. And both of my daughters have gorgeous eyelashes and they're so thick and long. Hey, G 
you see out there, Toots? Who did you see, my friends? Mommy heard you kids bark. Who did y'all see? Hmm? Was somebody outside? My dogs came through the door here to probably say somebody's at the door. Not really, but I don't know if y'all can see right there or not. I'll step back a little bit. So I got through yesterday without crying too much. I miss my mama and my family so bad. It was just Today, or yesterday was a really good day, but you still have that side in your heart that hurts so bad. And like I was missing them so bad, it was horrible. And I didn't really think about it until I got home. And just the hurt in my heart hurt so bad. I got to thinking, you know, I'm like, one day I'll be that person and feel the shoes of my mom and my mama and you don't, like, you don't think about it. Like, I'm, I'm 32 years old and, like, life goes so quickly. It's like, thinking back, it was like you were, can't wait till you get 18 and then the moment you do, and you, your, your life begins and your life starts, it's like, whoa, hold up. Like, reality hits, you know? I'm thankful for life, though. I'm thankful for a new day. Even though sometimes I struggle with stuff and all that stuff, we're human. We all struggle. We all have death in the family. We all struggle from the hurt and the grief and... You have to learn from it. You got to go on and carry on and smile through the tears, smile through the sadness, and keep saying that the joy of the Lord's your strength because he's the one that gives us joy and he, he gives us strength. So, sometimes we just got to shake ourselves until we get there where we need to be. And then even when you do get to where you need to be and you think things are going steady, Something always knocks you back down. It never ends. Y'all see how my hair is? Which I wore it curly yesterday and it's... I didn't wash it today. But I'm so glad my hair's getting longer. I like long hair. So I know I forgot to put on deodorant. I've got to hurry up because I've got to get to um, check my mail. I'm sure y'all don't want to see me putting on deodorant, but this is the get ready with me. This is what I typically do when I'm getting ready. <clears throat> I'm just, I'm not feeling good today. Like, I mean, I feel good. It's not that I'm sick. It's just my, my back and stuff. It just, it wags you, or it weighs you down so much. I mean, just like going up my stairs, getting like, sometimes I have to get halfway and stop. I'm like, golly, but I'm like, I'm really hoping I get better from this. Because I'm over it and I, mama's got to work. I, I've got to like get going with my life here. My hair is a mad mess. I'm going to put a little of this stuff in it. There was comments on my thing about my hair being so bad and frizzy. Well, what I have to say about that is, 
yeah my hair does get frizzy it's because half of the time i have the windows down in my car when i'm out and about and that makes it even frizzier but i have thick hair i have curly hair and i have frizzy hair but what i have to say about that is thank god that i do have hair thank god that i have long and thick hair because some people don't and I think either way we go in life, some people want straight hair, some people want curly hair. Um, either way in life we go, none of us are really happy, but I like my hair and I'm thankful for it. Some of you guys might not, but hey, this is, this is my life and I, I'm the one that carries it on my head and deals with it, so... That's what I'll say about that. Take it, like it, or leave it, or just not, I don't know, pump your brakes. So, because I don't know about y'all, I don't have time to sit and worry about negative bull crap, like petty stuff that don't even matter. Like, it's so ridiculous, and that people think they get a kick out of it and not poking and making fun of people, but it's not cute and it's not funny. And as a matter of fact, I was watching Ellen today and Pink, the singer, she was on there talking about her social media and um, she had posted a picture and like she was getting all this grief about it and stuff. So she's like, you know, she's still doing the social media, of course, because she's kind of like a, you know, a famous singer and celebrity like top deal. But she's like, it's sad that these people get behind their phones or their computers and pick on people and just have such an evil, wicked heart. Like, it's just unbelievable, you know. Um, life is too short for that. Like, life is just so short to sit and pick on people and make fun of people and um, put people down. Who cares what, you know... If somebody's hair is frizzy or if they're overweight or they're too skinny. Because guess what? We're all down here struggling in this life. We all need help. We all need encouragement. So instead of sitting and making fun of people, look in the mirror. Look, look in the mirror and see what kind of thoughts you have. I guarantee you, honey, you have thoughts and you have, um, you have scars and wounds and, um, you have things on your life and on your outward appearance that you're not happy with. We all have them. So, <clears throat> instead of, like, making people's crowns fall and getting, um, making them sad and upsetting them and just, like, picking at them, I would suggest you to look inside your own self and, um, you know, study your own self. God, cause God, Lord knows that I have tons of thoughts and um, things in my life and my body that I don't like, uh, but I love myself, you know. So instead of sitting and picking on others and um, making fun of people because of how they look or their weight or, you know, whatever, study your own self. And honestly, I I really pray for people that's that way, that that likes to troll and, and do this. Because there's something missing in your life that makes you want to do that. Um, there's something there that you're not happy with. Maybe that's your struggle. I Like my struggle is my family not being with me. And, you know, that's my struggle. I'm a single parent. You know, their daddy... He helps, but I I live here. I do my own thing, and I'm a, so I do everything that I've got to do. That's a struggle, but I'm standing and I'm doing, and I'm living. But those that are trolling and doing all this stuff, I do pray for you. And it's really sad that whatever that you think you have to do that to get a little high off of or to make you happy. I just think it's real sad because it's just unreal.
that's not gonna work. But you know, in life and the times that we're living in, it gets darker by the hour. We're living in, like I really believe we're living in the last days. Like seriously, I think we, we are. There's so much going on in this world. You know what? We all better be getting ready because Jesus is going to be coming soon one day. And I'm not preaching. I'm speaking. I'm, I'm throwing myself out there. I need to get ready. I mean, I'm saved and everything. But we can work on ourselves every single day of our life. Every single day of our life, we need to work on ourselves. Because I'm telling you, one of these days, we're each going to face judgment for our wrongdoings and our sins. And so, stop with the nonsense of tearing others down and look on yourself and your life and study on what need, what in life you need to work on. Because I guarantee you, honey, it's probably a mile long. Because we all have things that we need to work on in life. <clears throat> and you know what? I complain about, you know, my weight. I'm not that overweight. Um, we, we, we can get ourselves so wrapped up on life. And pleasing people. Seeing, seeing how we look at. Um, or they see us when they look at us, our weight, our appearance. But you know what? You can have all the, the beauty in the world. You can have everything on you perfect. But if it's not right here, if your heart's not happy with the Lord, and if, if your soul's not right, and if you don't have a beautiful heart and soul, this out here don't matter. So I may have a big stomach. I may be overweight, which I'm not overweight. I could lose a couple pounds. But when it's all said and done, I'm thankful that I do have legs to walk and arms to move and eyes to see and ears to hear. You know, we have so many things that so many people in this life that don't have. They're in wheelchairs. And <clears throat> sometimes I get stuck dead in my tracks. Like, why are you complaining? Why, why, why do you do this? And I don't know about you, but if you're ever out and about and you see people that are like sick, like with cancer and dying and their hair's all out, and I can look at them like, wow, you know, we, we complain so much in life, so much we complain, but we forget to see the bigger picture that there's people that are dying, they're they're losing so much weight because they can't keep nothing down and they want to be able to eat. They would love to have food in their stomachs and they would love to put on weight and then we find ourselves complaining. I know I've got to get better with that. We've got to love ourselves. And that don't necessarily just say just keep eating, eating, eating all this stuff that you're not supposed to be doing. I do that. I eat junk food. I love junk food. That's one of my weaknesses. But we got to be happy with herself and be thankful for what we do have. I didn't mean to get on all of this um, talking, but I've got shorts on and this is, and I'm super white y'all, like I'm super white, but it is what it is. So I hope everybody's having a good day and I might vlog a little bit more, not a whole lot, but that's a get ready with me and there's my eye makeup. That's my look and that's my look for today. So. And this shirt is like an old shirt, but I love it. It says strong is the new pretty. There you go, guys.